Hey there guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're working on... Hey, hey there underdog, how you doing? Um, I know there's a billion and one uh, videos for the unboxing of the Shadow Spear box. Um, I've been sick, uh, kids suck, let's be honest, uh, it's been it's been horrible. Uh, but uh, I'm gonna do okay, I got lots of tea. Uh, there may be like a heated wheat bag sitting on my lap right now as we speak, but uh, figured I'd take some time and go over the Shadow Spear box. I haven't even taken the saran wrap off it or the, uh, the cellophane off it yet, so. We're going to see what we can do, uh, take a look at this guy in here. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be a long one today. i got a, a dad's birthday to go to this evening. Um, but uh, a couple things while I'm kind of uh, ripping this open here. I just want to say super huge thanks to all you guys for coming in at uh, 5K subscribers. That is monstrously awesome. Um, getting lots of traction with that uh, Imperial Navy video. So uh, I'm just going to pull this off here. How are things going there, underdog? All right. Okay, so here we go. So we got the box. Um, standard box, obviously. We got the uh, you know the outside. We got the you know the dramatic artwork, and I think it gets uh, echoed on the inside as well. Um, I'm really looking forward to this box. I mean, I love the kind of the special forces uh, nature of things. Uh, you can see that there's the light in there for sure. You can see, of course, we got all the new chaos guys. Um, I may jokingly refer to them as Chouse for the next little bit here, but uh, we got all the new chaos guys, and the demonkin stuff is awesome, um, and it is so nice to see something new for chaos uh you know you know getting rid of those old obliterator kits i mean everybody and their dog has converted the crap out of those and i'm really happy to see them now uh kind of in that thing um and kind of going off of the other major demon engines as well i'm oh man i am so looking forward to this venom crawler uh here as well i just i mean come on it looks it looks awesome now i know there's been lots of kind of feedback coming in from the new um primaris marines in there um the infiltrators i'm a huge fan of actually i really like this um i've got a cool idea for kind of paint schemes that I want to do for those guys. And uh, yeah, it looks really, really awesome. Seems really loud. I'll see if I can work. I'll just talk louder. Um, also, it comes with the, the three uh, kind of mini um, books that are in here. You got the Vanguard Space Marines, you got the Demon Kin, and you got the Shadow Spear book itself. So there's some scenarios, I hope, in there. And um, I'm trying to stay away from, you know, just generic information doing changes. A little less dramatic. Okay, um, so um, I've been looking at, you know, um, you know the, the, these new guys, and I think, you know, for like a special forces kind of look and feel, they look awesome. And I know, I know that's what Space Marines were originally for, kind of the special forces of the Imperium. Um, but I love these guys. I think they're they're pretty sweet. Um, I like the fact that they got kind of a lighter, more stealthy armor, which I think is pretty pretty solid. So I'll grab the top and ditch that. You're getting screen Terry Lucas. Oh, thanks for the congrats on the uh, on on the five K subs there. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's actually pretty cool. I'm really I'm really looking forward to you know doing some creative stuff with the channel. I always said when I got to five K subs, I was going to invest a little bit more time in um, just kind of basic channel stuff. Um, I play every second Tuesday and every second Thursday um, at my local gaming store here in Calgary, and um, I was thinking of just hooking up some stuff. They've got actually a pretty decent up speed. Um, First thing out of the box is bases, Yahoo. Uh, very exciting. That's uh, not the most exciting part anyway. How's it, is it getting greater there, Lucas? Should have a fiber lineup. It shouldn't be a big issue. Okay, so let's look at the Primaris guys first. Pull these guys all out. You, sir, are Chelsea. You, sir, are Primaris. -y. How about you? Oh, you don't look corrupted. You're good. Oh man, this stuff is awesome. Okay, so let's take a look at the the sprues. Now, G-Dub's done a pretty solid job. I've actually gone and split some of these. Um, I didn't want any of the snipers. I think I've got some scout snipers I like to kind of have in with the storm. You know, that kind of, you know, they fly in, they set up, they set up a spot and then off they go. But man, look at this. You know, people are going on about those auto cannons all day. I think they're pretty sweet, actually. If you wanted, if you thought they were too long, there's enough of kind of like a, kind of a venting veins kind of system here. You could probably just cut that and put it and put it down together, and it would look a little more, a little bigger than a heavy bolter, but not necessarily a heavy bolter, right? Got the sniper guys. You got the, the optics here. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And oh my god, the, uh, this, uh, the infiltrators here are pretty sweet. Like I love how they're all geared up. Kind of boring a, a, a kind of a, a page out of the Death Watch book. I love that. That's pretty. That's pretty darn solid. 
and the antennas all over it. I know it sounds like a weird, subtle little thing, but the antennas will definitely distinguish them for your other kind of Primaris models. It should be decent. Chaos dudes look insane. Yeah, I love the yeah the Chaos guys. I'm really excited about. Like the new stuff is just unreal. Now this is like you know this basic Space Marine fair, right? Like it's it's stuff that we've kind of seen before, but the animation that you get in these kind of push together ones is pretty pretty darn solid. Just kind of looking around here. Even the bolters and stuff are pretty sweet. And I like that they've kind of branched them out a little bit. Um, my favorite part about this, now I know G-Dub's big focus is, I mean, there's a massive kind of used market, right, for the for the Space Marine stuff. So, you know, I'm pretty sure they're going to halt production. I think there's enough just kind of generally out there. Uh, and they'll do kind of lower run productions and stuff. But man, I love the fact that they're kind of doing some additional stuff with the Primaris. I think the trick is just not to go overboard um, with some of this stuff. <laughs> Look at this, like, it's just, I pull up, this is a smaller sprue, and it's just a sprue full of absolute detail, like everything from, like, grenades and little smoky grenades, you know, you got the sniper rifles. The sniper rifles look badass, look at that. Like, it reminds me of the old 50 cal, like, you know, big, uh, big magazines kind of on the inside. Not really, really cool. The camel cloaks going over the shoulders. That's really sweet. Now, I'm really glad I got some time to kind of take a look at this. This is, uh, this is pretty decent. Else we got in here, got kind of the belt feeds coming off the backpack. I don't know where they're storing all that extra ammo, but uh, maybe there's lots in there. I don't know. They definitely gotten a little bit more and a GI Joey with their with their stuff here. Hey Adler, how you doing? Death to the False Emperor. Hello. <laughs> that's that's how everybody should meet each other. Hey man, Death to the False Emperor. How you doing? Yeah, this is nice. Look at that helmet. You guys can see that and see yeah look at that just that cool kind of something a little bit different a little bit more unique it's got all the optics and kind of the, the cloak kind of protect the face all the optics on these guys oh man these are great i organized a deal where i uh traded away some of the um the sniper guys in the library and i'm kind of not sure that was a good idea now yes pretty rad look at that so nice and this kind of, you know, with the bandolier, uh, the bandolier, just kind of the, you know, the the slung over the shoulder holter. And you know, with all the new kits, how well they're kind of designed to fit with each other. So that's another thing I'm looking forward to seeing. There's the other sniper rifle. You can see they've split them up so that you can't just take certain sprues. But they're very efficient with their use of the plastic here, too. Like, that's, that's kind of a cool, good on them. Yeah, again, these helmets are, they're pretty badass. Very cool. Oh, I love it. So this looks like same sprue. That might be, uh, yeah, it's the same sprue. I'm like, ooh, ah, look at this detail. Wait, that looks a little bit familiar. So getting some duplicates isn't um, isn't that bad actually. You can always you can always just shift the head and it gives you a whole lot of personality. A little bit of a different personality there. That. And I love these little these vet these um, these jets that we kind of first saw in the. Um, uh, the Intercessors, I think it was? Or Inceptors, I think it was, yeah. They've kind of gone a little Stormcast with their naming. Gone are the days of the Blood Missile, uh, Blood Talon, Blood whatever, but... Um, oh, maybe not so bad. Alright, so this is our Librarian. I like the idea of the kind of the stealth kind of up, up for scary, obfuscating Librarian. Brain's not working the way it should. Even the base pieces and the details here are pretty solid. Look at that. Really efficient, too. Like, look... Oh, there's like not an extra bit of wasted plastic in there at all. And the open hand is cool. You don't see enough of those open hands. The medallion coming off here as he's touching his head. Picking his way through. Very cool. Hey, George, how you doing? Oh, you got your copy yesterday? Yeah, I haven't even looked at it yet, man. I just uh, I just thought I'd pop the seal open and see what it looked like. No, I've been sick, man. It's... um. I keep talking about kids. Kids are wonderful. They are a great addition to your life. And then they make you sick and then you wish you didn't have any. Oh, look at this. Look, there's the stalker. Look at that. I like that extended barrel. Kind of coming off with a gem there. Really cool. The foot up on the piece of kind of wreckage. Look at the detail. He's kind of pointing. Yeah, this guy's pretty foxy. I love this. 
Oh, I cannot wait to get them together. Oh, look at that. They've even got the three. I love it when they go 3D on their um, on their pauldrons. Just so much nicer to paint a 3D surface. Uh, you got to cut up your transfers, your uh, your decals. I know I get a lot of grief as a Canadian saying decal instead of decal. Uh, but um, we call them decals here. A bit of interesting knowledge for you. Yeah, look at that. I love the detail. And I love the way the boots, they look a little bit kind of narrower. They're not as chunky as the... Um, that's kind of the space rings with the with the solid leg. Yeah, really cool. Yeah, I love it. I cannot wait to get these guys assembled. It's gonna be pretty uh pretty darn solid. Alright. Let's see. Now the chaos guys. We got our main character. Let's start with him. He's a little sprue. So this is like the super demon kin kind of possessed marine guy. And you know what? I've got an old, um, oh, probably second or third edition uh, metal model. And it's very much got the same kind of layout. He's very squished, obviously. He's like, you know, that flat kind of, uh, you know, metal casting pose. But I'm really digging this. This is pretty awesome. Look at this. Oh, sweet. And then he's got that, you know, that kind of trademark, kind of that uh, ratty cloak. I used to paint them up and make them look like human skin. You know, just like, you know, this cloak made out of patchwork of human skin. But even this just, uh, you know, he figured he'd take care of his stuff. He's got like flaming everything and stuff. Maybe it's just cinders from the fire. You know, who knows? Do a lot of hiking and uh, when we get in the back country, your pants all come back with holes and stuff in them. And the staff too. Look at this. It's like all gnarly. And they've really kind of done the same thing with the Death Guard as well, where they've got this kind of, this gnarly kind of old wooden staff. So maybe they have to get it from a certain dead tree or something like that and... In the universe, there's maybe, you know, a couple planets with that that wood on it, or I don't know. It's just kind of cool. I cannot wait to paint these flame effects on these guys, too. Ah, oh, man, what a nice, nice kit. And it's small. Like, the assembly in this is, like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces. You get a wicked, awesome kit. Yeah, and it's got lots of room for gluing and stuff in there. Very cool. Look at this talisman here. How sweet is that? No, I'm I'm actually crazy stoked about painting these guys up. They look amazing. They look good as Dark Angels. Yeah, you know what? I've been um I'm gonna let you guys in a little bit of a secret. I think I'm gonna do a non-traditional uh, paint scheme. I've got my Primaris, obviously. I've got them painted up as as different things. Um, but I might do these guys a little bit different. I might do them with kind of a kind of a black kind of stealthy, or maybe like a deep gray kind of stealthy. Um, outer armor and then just have like strips of blue identifying them as like ultras or dark angels or whatever i don't know yet i'm trying to think of something different and unique because they do stand out they're, they're they're totally different but i don't know if i want more just big chunks of blue on the table so i don't know we'll see how it goes for sure for sure all right so now oh look at this oh man look this backpack has mouths oh man <laughs> This is crazy. Big axes. Ah, uh, this stuff is nuts. Like, the amount of detail that's on here is huge. The traditional Space Marine kind of pauldrons and all that. Ah, uh, really, really nice. Yeah, I agree with you, man. I think, uh, Edelar, I think, um, uh, I think you're right. What they've done is they've really mastered something, and it's really apparent here. You get detail, but you don't get too much detail. You look at that model and, wow, that is a detailed, detailed model. But when it comes to painting it, you're not you're not going to deal with a situation where you've got too much detail. So, for example, this kind of chain mail uh, leather-backed, uh, you know, just kind of this... Um, oh, I'm missing the word right now. Um, uh, yeah, sorry, I got sick. I'm losing my mind here. Um, but this kind of piece up front here... You would paint that and you think, oh, that is a load of detail. But painting it is not going to look muddy or whatever. It's very defined. Um, dressing up this backpack with like the spikes and with the mouths and the, the kind of the, um, the tentacles coming out all and all that. It's not overdone. Like it is really not. You've got like a different structure for the these kind of little extensions out here. And it looks great. But they're so true, like so incredibly true to the original Chaos Marines. And nobody ever wanted Chaos Marines, right? You wanted the, the corn guys or you wanted the Nurgle guys because they were the ones with visual interest. But there's so much going on with these guys. And look, even the pauldrons here, they've got... They're all 3D. Like, they're all elevated. So you'll have some uh, decals that you put on there, transfers decals. Um, or 
you know, you'll just, but you'll just mostly just be painting these, these three-dimensional pieces. And the posing and the posture, look at this guy. Like, I can see, I know exactly what this guy is going to be doing. He's holding his axe up, like, calling the guys in, like, get some, get some. Yeah, look at, oh, look at this one. This is pretty cool, too. The Churg's here. But look, see, again, not too much detail. He's got little rivets. We can pick those out with some wash and stuff. You know, just around the neck here, it's still kind of jagged and it's got lots of personality. And every guy has kind of got their own thing going on. And I'm thinking that's the way things are going to go. When I did the um, uh, the Kill Team box, I remember like looking at the guys and saying, I know what these guys did before. This has got the kind of possessed thing with the double vents at the back and the spine coming down. Oh man, these are nuts. The heavy bolter or the uh, auto cannon guy. I can only imagine what they're going to do with the rest of the rest of the goodies. There's your classic Reaper auto cannon. I used to always have to convert these off the Terminators or get the metal ones and kind of put them on. And now it's in plastic. Oh man, this stuff looks amazing. How cool is that? <laughs> oh, and this one here with the scales. See that? Let's see. Yeah, the scales in there. Awesome. <laughs> I'll have to learn to paint fire. You know what? I think I might, um, I'll probably do a fire painting tutorial. There's a, a couple of guys. Um, the, uh, the Geller Pox Walkers off of the Kill Team uh, box set, the Road Trader one. Uh, there's a lot of fire on there. I'll probably do that. Uh, I'll probably do one on here as well. Let's see if I got a guy down here. Just while we're, on. While we're talking, as I pull out the bottom drawer. So I've got Karamazov here. And so it's not that hard to kind of do it, but I might just do a quick tutorial. But you can see Karamazov has got uh, that kind of fire thing going on. It's cool and dramatic and interesting. But yeah, it's super simple to paint fire. So I'll probably do a, maybe I'll do a tutorial on that in the next little bit here when we uh, start painting up these Chaos guys. The Chaos guys, for sure. Oh, that's Karamazov. I love this guy. I want to, you know, I'm still kind of dreaming about an Inquisition army and all that. But uh, what a great model this guy is, too. Pretty sweet. Yeah, Lucy, you're going to hit it, man. No worries at all. I'll get you started, but it's uh, it's just the opposite of highlighting, really. You're kind of low-lighting or dark-lighting it. So, um, yeah, I'll put a tutorial out there, and if you have any questions, man, post them up. That'd be awesome. Sweet. Look at this. And the chains on here, too. Yeah, you can honestly just get lost in the detail on these guys for a while. I am so looking forward to assembling them all up. And then um, I'll just do an individual kind of review. Look at this power fist. It's like talony and angry. Look at this. All the things that you loved about the Chaos Space Marines are here. Sweeter than candy, man. Really cool. Alright, next up we've got... Oh, I don't know. Some Demon Kinney type stuff. We've got the uh, Oblitz in here. And you can see that... Uh... Do we have a head on here somewhere? You can see that they really lean super heavily on the... Um... On the... Um... Chaos Dreadnoughts, the, the Hell Brutes, yeah, yeah, brain not working today, maybe we need more tea, we'll see how it goes, um, but the Hell Brutes that are in here, you can see that, um, you know, they're really leaning very heavily on that kind of, you know, that gaping maw with the head coming through, and just the fact that they've got all these different weapons that they can kind of create and uncreate and cycle through, what a great, kind of cool opportunity to see, so neat, oh man, I love it. And we can only like you know like we've seen some of the coverage. And look at this; they got like these torn. It's kind of a wooden, scaly. It's going to be tough to figure out where the flesh, you know, ends and the machine begins on these guys. And I think that's one of the coolest features of the, um, of the Demonkin stuff is just exactly that. They got the, the cannon on here. We also got they got the power fists, and I like these kind of pistony, you know, kind of legs that are in here as well. You know, just. Definitely a uh, little bit of a blurred line between the, the machinery and the and the dude inside. Very cool. And then, of course, there's the Venom Crawler. This guy's nuts. I think spiders are kind of terrifying myself. I uh, I don't mind them, but uh, I wouldn't sleep with one on my face, if you know what I mean. It wouldn't be, uh, wouldn't be great. So, yeah, look at this. And again, it's, it's leaning heavily on that kind of uh, Hell Brute kind of thing in there as well. And you can see, like, look at this. Like, you see this piece here. 
um, and they're kind of tying in kind of imperial technology even into the base of this of this thing. So with all the heresy stuff, I mean, they can lean so heavily on, you know, this was a machine that was just doing something and it was perverted by the, the kind of the powers of chaos. Oh man, yeah, I'm I'm super stoked about seeing this. Look at the face of this guy, all the cables and cords and stuff. This is maybe a dude at some point in time. And he just uh, maybe like a tech priest or something like that, and he just kind of went over to the powers of chaos. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Look at this and this kind of sighting kind of talons. Definitely like a big bug. But it's got you know kind of feelings or you know callbacks to that defiler and all that. And I love this spiked, um, this kind of spiked piece in here. Uh, definitely going back to the um, kind of the Death Guard, all the Death Guard pieces with that, you know, those spikes kind of in there. Much better than, say, the old Chaos Rhinos where they had those really thick, chunky spikes because they didn't have the technology. I think this is really cool. And the way they put it together, they really kind of stabilized by having that piece of plastic, that chain uh, going across there. So maybe they won't break on your box. I'm sure they will. I'm sure I'm going to get lots of spikes under fingernails as I uh, pull the army out of the box, but oh, these guys look so good. Yeah, and what a like what an amazing kind of foretelling of what's going on out there. The Chaos Marines. Really cool. Yeah, all the cables. These little tentacles here. The Forge Fiend kind of tentacles that are in here. So they've tied a lot of their Demon Engine stuff before. They've brought all those elements in. Oh, it's going to be great. I cannot wait. All right, so that's our mint models. That's uh, there's a cardboard piece that sits on top. Well, it's the same same as the box art, right? Uh, so you can frame that, put it up in your office or your uh, hobby space or whatever. We're getting lots of those. I think it's kind of cool, actually, to, to have that dedicated space. Oh, we got our... What else is in here? We got our big boxes. We've got our uh, jump jet... Um, Kind of stands. Um, I did a tutorial on uh, on the channel about kind of replacing these with brass rods. I find that these break so often. Uh, your models tend to be super self-destructive, and once these break, I mean you can't even pin this. It's not even straight. Not a criticism of the of the piece. Um, there's not a lot of kind of connection point here too. I just uh, I don't know. I'm a little rough with my models, I guess sometimes, and you know maybe I'm flying it around the office and I drop it or something. But uh, they got these in here for sure. Uh, your bases, your big round base, which is kind of cool. It's different from the um, kind of larger monster bases. I think that's kind of cool. And so it'll be a, a smaller space. So definitely, you know, easier to get into combat with, with your, uh, with your big dude, with your Venom Crawler. Super nice. All right, what else we got? Get that over there. We've got our, uh, our transfers here, our decals. Uh, we got a little bit of the Black Legion stuff in here. This kind of nice, kind of goldy, show up really nice against the, you know, the standard black. You got your standard Primaris kind of, um, you know, transfers that are in here. Uh, you got an Iron Halo marking. Uh, maybe you need that instead of your regular Iron Halo now, right? <laughs> uh, chapter Librarian marking, that's kind of cool. Librarius marking. So yeah, nice. Um, now what do we get? Oh, this is kind of cool. They've been doing this for a while now. <laughs> Broken spikes are even more chaos. Yeah, you know, it doesn't look like they maintain their stuff all that well, so... There you go. How fast are you guys at reading? They've got the... Uh, I love the fact that they give you the sample chapters of the books. They've got the, the, the kind of the, you know, ADB. He's got his Black Legion book uh, coming out, obviously, to support the uh, the release. And that ADB stuff is really good these days. I'm really digging what he's been putting out. Very cool. So you get the little sampling book, which I think is cool. You don't get enough of that anymore. They used to do that a long, long time ago, and then they stopped, and then they kind of come back. Uh, the books are in a separate uh, cellophane wrap pack, so I'll just give that a little cut. All right, Let's start with the Shadow Spear book. See, broken spikes are even more chaos. I agree completely. Lots of art, which is cool. Warzone Vigilus. I like that they're really heavily leaning on the the Warzone Vigilus. Uh, Marnie Skalgar, uh, I've got the little guy. I don't know where he is. I gotta find him. He's like he's like this big. I swear he's like this, you know, the mini me of Marnie, Marnie Skalgar's now. Uh, I'm gonna have to paint him up and put him in. So he's got you know he's hitting like the big guy for sure. 
Oh, look at this. See, I love it. I love the idea of campaigns. Look, look at that. And just as a straight up introduction, you'll be out there playing. Have a quick little campaign. See how many times you can run through the campaign. A couple missions. I never understood, and I keep saying this over and over, why people don't, like in uh, Sigmar, why they don't play with all the 5 billion War Scrolls that are out there. Or even like the different missions that are in here. I mean, playing the same couple scenarios out of the book or off the back just seems kind of dull and boring to me. I think I think you become a better player when you're constantly doing different things. Um, that might bring people out of their comfort zone a little bit, but... Uh, oh, there's a ton of missions in here. Vanguard Assault. Stratagems for each mission. Oh, Yeah. So I wonder if these are tied to the campaign that they have at the front. Yeah, they do. So they've got this so you can actually play the different missions based on your campaign. What a great idea and a great way to kind of get you started on narrative gaming. I think that's pretty, I think that's pretty sweet. Nice. Yeah, no, I got to, maybe we'll run through this. I think that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, more and more and more, I want to start kind of streaming games and being narrative. And i got to put that to you guys as well. It's, um, my thoughts are, and I kind of want to get your take on it, of streaming on Twitch and then taking that content, and because I can download the VODs from Twitch, taking that content and then editing it and then throwing it up on YouTube. Um, or do I just stream it and leave it as is? Uh, is that going to be too much downtime or boring? Uh, we say a lot of dumb stuff, which can be entertaining, but... Um, yeah, I figured I'd run that by uh, run that by you guys. Uh, all right, let's take a look at the Marines here. <laughs> look at that librarian there. Yeah, super stealthy. Introduction. More of that same art. And what I think is really cool is you can see it more and more and more in their posing of their models, especially their pre-made kits. Um, this Phobos armor is awesome, and it's lighter, so they make them look more kind of agile. There's your Dark Angels and your White Scars. I don't know. I'm a little torn. i got to figure out what I want to do with these guys. I want them to be different for sure. Oh, yeah. The big compensator guys for sure. I don't know. I think maybe cutting that barrel off and, and drawing it short might be an interesting option to, uh, to go with. I'll assemble them for the review and all that, and then I might cut them short later if I get another set of them for sure. Look, you get your data sheets, you get all your guys. I like that they didn't just go ultramarines for everything. Lieutenant's pretty cool with the two knives. But really, it's just a... Um, it's fantastic. Obscuration di discipline, look at that. Shrouding, Scryer's gaze, hallucination. You see a lot of this with the cult stuff, right? Um, Kind of the same kind of thing where you're uh, kind of, you know, uh, controlling other people and being super crafty. Yeah, nice. The warlord traits, shoot and fade. And they're all, all the warlord traits are very much about just kind of getting around, kind of hitting and running very much guerrilla tactics. Oh, and you get points too. Oh man, so you get the full, get the full set. How cool is that? That's a bit bright for you guys, hey? Let's try this. This. Uh, how about this? Put my hand in front of the light. Very cool. So you get the points and everything. Nice. And then the chaos guys. I'm kind of wondering about the pointing them for sure. Maybe for about six months. I'm going to give it a good go. You see, I know I believe in you, man. Like you can. It's here's the secret. Okay, it's it's not about being perfect. It's about moving closer and closer to uh, perfection. Um, I get a lot of criticisms for my stuff for being too muddy or too dirty or grainy and I love that look I love that things get used like very Star Wars right um, but just keep going it's just about time like it's just about investing time in uh, in your painting and so well, I, I think it'll be good man you got this same artwork for the chaos guys the Chelsea dudes it seems like they're really working that one piece of artwork for sure they're talking about the demon kin ah oh, the purge look at this so I um Jeez, I think it was like the fourth Ed Chaos Codex. They kind of introduced the Purge in there. I wanted some Nurgly kind of branded dudes. Awesome. Flawless host. You know, I wonder if I might just take a crack at some of these guys. The Red Corsairs. Oh, good. Night Lords, the Word Bears. And I haven't really addressed any of the Chaos stuff. I was kind of waiting for a um, an update, and lo and behold, we've got one. Oh, yeah, look at those Blitz. I like how they're mostly... Uh, 
mostly uh, creature, like man. And then they've just got all this stuff strapped on. Cool. I cannot wait to see these guys in there. Death to the False Emperor. The Mark of Chaos. So we can bring in Marks as well. Master of Possession. Venom Crawler. Obliterators. And the nice thing about this is this is just the, the tip of the iceberg. I bet you, like, all the demon engines that they did with the Nurgle guys, I bet you there's going to be a ranged version of um, the Venom Crawler or, who knows, a new discipline, the Malefic Discipline. So it's nice that they've got their own thing. They're just not kind of weaker, less interesting. Um, they're not just weaker, less interesting uh, Chaos Marines or Death Guard or whatever. They've really got their own thing going on. Demon Vampower, Devourer of Magic. Look at that. Greater Fate, Infernal Gaze, Warp Lord. Yeah, they got definitely their own thing. And the points. So what is it for a Marine? Okay, basic Marine's 13 points. Greater Possessed, he's a uh, 70 points. So he's a he's a heavy hitter in your army, but you get 1 to 2. Obliterators are 115 points each. 1 to 3. It's a shame you only get 2 in the box, but uh, who knows. And the Venom Crawler is 130, which isn't bad. Really? Like, all this stuff is going to be fairly, you know, coming under a thousand points. Look at this. Look at the black armor with that old brass. No, it's going to be solid, guys. No, I am super duper looking forward to this. So that's that. Uh, you know, guys, what do you think? It's uh, I'm looking forward to being able to paint these guys. I'm going to do up the... Um, well, what else do we got here? I'm going to do up the... Um, the, the models, we're going to kind of put them all together. Um, we've got our assembly instructions. I like how they show you kind of what's involved. And, you know, they've got, of course, the great assembly instructions, like glue here. This is your piece from the old part. Yeah, super easy to put together, it looks like. Yeah, some of the Stormcast kits, you're not really sure the angle that they're kind of going for. It's really good. you got your painting chart on the back. Awesome. And then, of course, you got your rules uh, in here as well. Uh, just in case you want to, you know, do some playing. But you can always get the advanced rules and all that from the big box, or the big kit. So guys, that's it for this guy. Um, no, I'm uh, I'm glad you guys could join me. I'm sorry uh, the energy level's low and I'm cutting a little bit short. I got a, like I said, I got a birthday party to, to kind of go to. But um, no, I'm super impressed with uh, the quality of the models. And I know there's been tons of box openings and stuff, but uh, so I give you my take on it anyway. Um, these guys, I cannot wait to see them in action. Uh, on the table, which would be great. I actually swapped out a bunch of my Primaris um, intercessors uh, to a friend, um, and I'm gonna use some of these guys to kind of fill that niche out. But I still want a lot of power armor in my armies. I think it's really cool that there's still, you know, an active part of it with, you know, land raiders and rhinos and things like that. Uh, pretty sweet. And the Chaos guys, well, you guys don't know it yet, but I am a huge fan of Chaos. I'm a massive Chaos player. Um, so I'm gonna be finishing off um, some Death Guard on the channel a little bit. It seems to be pretty popular. I'm trying to build up the subs as much as I can. Um, I've got a new um, uh, join now on the on the website. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, so you guys can support the channel that way if you want to throw some cash at the channel and uh, pay for some of the stuff. I don't have any kind of G-Dub sponsorship or anything like that. But, uh, oh man, it's looking it's looking really solid. I'm, I'm so happy uh, that this new kit is out. So um, that's it for this one, guys. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Um... Still thinking of to convert your Death Guard? Oh, really? What are you going to convert him to? James there. Um, but yeah, no, I'm really looking forward to seeing how things go in the next little while. So um, that's it for this one, man. Uh, my friends, I'll, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm going to grab some tea now and reheat my, uh, my <laughs> wheat bag. And then I'm off to a party. But uh, hey, guys, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate your support of the channel. This is uh, this is massive for me. So uh, it's always nice getting a little bit of validation about kind of what you're doing. So uh, thanks again. Uh, if you liked the video, I mean, jab the crap out of that like button. It uh, really helps with the YouTube algorithms, gets that video out there for sure. Um, if you want more videos like this one, if you're coming in a little bit later or you're just new to the stream, um, hit subscribe and there's a little bell button right beside the subscribe button. You get notifications of all the streams and videos that we're going to be doing in the next little bit. And we've now got a join button. So if you want to join up with the channel and uh, provide some support that way, you want to go a little bit further, then absolutely you can. And all that is going to go back into the channel. Um, I want to start doing some, maybe uh, doing a getting started box and then paint that front to back as a project. Oh, that'd be kind of cool. But um, thanks a lot for watching, guys. And we'll, uh, we'll catch you in the next one.
And Lucy, yeah, I totally agree. Good luck with the painting. 